beloved angels, we gaze at thee with large, bright, luminescent lasers of crystalline light beaming through these eyes to your heart. From these eyes to your heart. Greetings, beloved angels. Greetings, beloved masters. Greetings, beloved brethren. Greetings. We greet thee in the presence of the expanded illumination of divine light that is ever present for thee now. There is indeed a marked enhancement that is visible to all eyes. And this is why we talk to thee today about the eyes. The eyes are readjusting and the eyes are readjusting at many forms of vision. For many, many, many in the world of density, there will be a moment in each being when the connection to the luminescent generosity and abundant waves of electromagnetic energy are discovered and felt within. And when that moment occurs, the eyes will shift. They will shift in many ways. Let us offer to thee ways that you are able, that the body or the mind is able to relax into the recognition of this connection. And we speak of this to thee now because this is indeed a recent acquisition of energy that has revealed itself again to those who are in the moment of connection. And when this connection occurs for thee, today, tomorrow, one month from now, many years from now, it matters not. It is when the connection occurs that it is beneficial that within the seed of the divine wisdom, the recognition of this energy has been absorbed so that there is not a fear or resistance to this. So let us first offer to thee the, let us say, symptom or checklist that would say, aha, yes, I have arrived. The eyes will carry this energy. The eye of the body, of which there are two, and the eye of the soul, of which there is one. Let us begin by discussing the eyes of the body, of which there are two. One of the experiences, and in the list that we offer to thee, there is no order. We are simply listing. One of the experiences is the two becoming one. Two eyes becoming one eye. This is often experienced in the form of the body as massive or unique headache. Meaning there is new pressures in the head. They come in in different ways. They may be sporadic. They may sense an electrical pulse with them. When they arise, the two eyes may feel pressure or pain. The two eyes becoming one is an ignition. If you take the fingers of the hands, the what you call middle fingers of the hands, holding them as we are now, you will first notice gazing through them, not at them, you will notice golden streams of energy coming through the fingertips toward thee. And you will notice this by not gazing directly, but by gazing directly through as we are doing now. And you take the middle fingers and bring them in front of the two eyes, not focusing on the fingers, continuing to focus straight ahead, but you bring them as you see us doing now, the two middle fingers pointed in toward the eyes, the golden streams of light going in. 
and you simply hold them here as you breathe. And then you take these golden streams of light from the two eyes to the third eye, and you overlap these middle fingers as you see us doing now. Again, pointing straight ahead with the eyes. You do not look at the eyes. And as you have the golden streams of light here at the third eye, you gently move up, again, keeping the vision straight ahead, keeping the eyes open to the area of the star consciousness where you will feel great heat and expansion and illumination. And then you allow yourself after you connect with the heat, again, keeping the fingers not touching, approximately inch, inch and a half away, connect with the heat of the star consciousness, lift up, keeping the fingers connected, release, and notice the clarity. You will feel the wind of the universe coming through you. So this is just the first of the experience of the eyes in the connection. Another experience will be a sense of double or blurry vision. This can come from one eye or two eyes. It does not matter. There will be a sense of this. Again, the practice of bringing the hands up, noticing the rays of golden light emanating from the tips of the finger, then using the middle fingers as we have already described. That process that we have already described is beneficial in the case of all of the experiences we give you. So number two, the blurry or double vision. Number three, the waterfall of crystalline, silvery, shimmery, platinum light. You may notice this out of one eye or both. You may notice this off to the side or straight ahead. But you will notice as if there are waves of platinum, silvery light waving in front of you. It may look like a watery, liquidy energy, for indeed, in your world, it is. And it may feel as if it has a harmony to the ears. And we will talk about harmony in a moment. This is again part of the experience of allowing thy, we shall use the word self, to acclimate to this electromagnetic energy, this, this allowance, this new vibrational stabilization energy that is a rich component of the ascension energy. And another, as you would say, experience is again rich, deep harmony in the ears that may be accompanied with a vision shift and slight pressure in the area of the head. This energy in the ears is actually emanating from the eyes. This is why there is a sense of pressure, a sense of hum that is coming forward. These that we offer to you are the primary experiences that will assist thee to understand that the connection, that the moment of connection has arised, has come forward. And the more that you offer to yourself the gift of unification of golden light, golden light, the eyes, the third eye, here and above, the easier and the greater clarity and stabilization to the eyes will come forward. These are the two eyes becoming the one eye. The two eyes becoming the one eye. This is the first of the sequence of this electromagnetic alignment that assists the physical form to allow and agree to full illumination of enlightenment, to be lighter, more buoyant, available to live in many ways. Now we talked about the two eyes becoming one. We also wish now to share with thee about the single eye of the soul. We hold the hands like this, the single eye of the soul, the single eye of the soul. This single eye of the soul is not the eye that expresses in density. 
the single eye of the soul is indeed an eye, an eye, an eye. We take the eye and turn it into the eye. An eye of the soul, it is a heart that sees all because it is connected with the harmony of the universe. It is again the single eye that has become the eye of the heart, the single harmony of the universe. We offer to you the sequence of mudras again, the eye of the soul that has become the eye of the heart that becomes one with the single harmony of the universe. The more that you repeat these mudras, the eye of the soul opening as the eye of the heart, becoming one with the universe and the harmony, the more that you will stabilize this eye and the more that you will reveal to thyself and to the universe that indeed the connection is complete. The experiences you will receive knowing that this connection is completing are number one, that you will have been experiencing the eyes, the physical eyes, the two eyes. You will be experiencing this fullness, this uh, sense perhaps of ache, this sense of the connection. You will be in the pressure or the feeling of the tones. And then you will discover, again, more that is going on. A, quote, symptom of this expansionary I, this I, that is becoming this I, is that you will also begin to have a greater precognition of events. Precognition of events can be as simple as the recognition that the phone is going to ring and knowing who it is. It could be a world event that is suddenly calling to you for no particular reason, just suddenly you have a knowing. It can be a sense of uh, foreshadowing. It can be a sense of expansion. But there will be a greater precognition of events. Number three is it important not to become egoically wrapped. When you notice that there is less ego wrapping around the precognition, less ego wrapping around the knowing, less need to share with many others, this is also a experience or symptom of the quickening of the illumination of the eye that is becoming the eye, the ever-seeing eye. Another experience will be a rapid generation of a new body. You will find that the physical form will be finding itself in a new way. For some they will expand, for others they will shrink. For some there will be moments of discomfort, for others there will be longer discomfort. Water, water, water. You are the ever-present flow, even when all around you is seeking to be hard. You are the ever-present flow, even when all around you is seeking to be hard, boxed, square, stuck. It is important to remember, flow releases this. You are the ever-present flow. And so, beloved ones, so that there is absolutely only confirmation within your heart, we offer to you that we are the crystalline brethren. We are, in many ways, a... We offer the word to you, society. And we offer this word to you, society of brethren, to expand the understanding of society in the density form. This is the only reason we offer this word. We are a society that is born of blue star-born light and energy. 
supported and nourished through the crystalline star field and ignited <clears throat> through the benevolent ones. Who are we? We are you. If you wish to offer us a name, then call us the society, the society of crystalline light. And we have much to share and much to come forward and look forward to all of our interactions with thee. We are thee. Thee is we. Your eyes ignite. Your heart is the eye of the universe. And the universal harmony is ringing. You are the flow. You are the luminescence. And we love you. And so it is.